and uh, we are ready sound check and we're rolling look at this graph what makes this attention worthy is that until last year this company was nowhere near the top 10 companies by market capitalization but today it's ranked 6th its shares are up 150% this year alone and has become the first 1 trillion dollar chip company do you know which company we are referring to We are talking about Nvidia. It is an American chip company based in Santa Clara, California. It has been turning heads recently since it briefly touched a trillion dollar valuation on the stock exchange. So, what has been carrying this boom? While researching, we found one interesting database. This is the rise in searches of AI. But Nvidia didn't really begin as an AI company. In fact, not even close to it. It was in 1993 when Jensen Huang, an immigrant from Taiwan and a Stanford graduate, along with his friends Chris and Curtis, launched Nvidia out of a condo. NV referring to next version and Ividia coming from Ivida, the Latin word for envy. They had the vision to speed up the computing speeds to such an extent that people envy their chips. You might rightfully think of Intel when you hear the words chip company. After all, the personal computers that you and I work on have an Intel central processing unit inside. But Nvidia realized the shortcomings that CPUs possess and therefore came up with GPUs, graphic processing units. These are top-notch cards that instantly boost the computing power. The number one application for these chips, gaming. and it's been 30 years and nvidia chips are loved by gamers and continue to contribute 80% of their revenue to date the big break for them came in 2000 when nvidia was signed as the exclusive graphics provider for microsoft's first xbox we've got another breakthrough part which is a uh, a graphics processor uh, that uh, is being provided to us using an nvidia design But remember that gaming is just one of the many uses of GPUs. They just accelerate the CPU's performance. So in the late 2000s when the cryptocurrency industry was fresh and unexplored, Nvidia realized that GPUs could very well be used by miners for the powerful processing they needed to carry out complex calculations. And hence came another transformation in Nvidia's business. But Amidst all this, Nvidia had bigger plans. It had its eyes on the future, and well, it had rightly anticipated that the future belongs to artificial intelligence. The extraordinary financial performance that the world sees now is nothing but reaping of the fruits. It can all be traced back to 2006 when Nvidia introduced CUDA into every single one of its GPUs. It's essentially a computing platform and programming model that transitions Nvidia GPUs from serial to parallel computing. If we were to explain to you the difference between serial and parallel computing in the simplest terms, then think of it in terms of a transmission channel. Let's say a boat for example. In serial computing, you have only a single boat taking limited passengers across the river in one go. However, Parallel computing allows you to take multiple boats although relatively smaller that can carry passengers simultaneously therefore reducing the workload and increasing efficiency. So, turns out that this parallel processing needed to create lifelike graphics is also ideal for deep learning, the backbone of the development of AI. Nvidia realized the importance that this technology held and made the bold move of having it as the center of all their chips from then onwards. In the words of Jensen Huang, the good wisdom to go put the whole company behind it. We saw early on about a decade or so ago that this way of doing software could change everything. And we changed the company from the bottom all the way to the top and sideways. Every chip that we made um, was focused on artificial intelligence. But the world wasn't ready to believe them yet. For 10 years or so, everyone on the Wall Street questioned them and valued their investments in deep learning at zero. 
It was only recently when Nvidia released their latest earnings report that made people go crazy over the AI segment of their business. Microsoft and Google have filled their data centers with thousands of Nvidia A100s. In fact, the supercomputer behind ChatGPT already has 10,000 of these. And would you like to take a guess at the price of one A100? It's two hundred thousand dollars. Rest, you can do the math. Not only this, they project its next quarter's earnings to be a whopping nine billion dollars against the seven billion dollars indicated by the analysts. Not just large language models like ChatGPT or Bard, but these GPUs have a wide array of applications in the AI world. Take healthcare for example. It can facilitate far faster drug discovery and DNA sequencing. reducing the time span to just hours from weeks self driving cars too are at the helm of nvidia's chips they had been making autonomous driving tech for tesla until 2019 and now for other car makers like mercedes benz there are a few challenges that could hamper the rise of their ai technology the number one threat being geopolitics you see nvidia is a fabless company meaning that it has completely outsourced the manufacturing of chips to third parties TSMC or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company in their case but with the threat of China looming large over Taiwan Nvidia supplies also remain threatened and even if Taiwan's autonomy is maintained as a business of this scale it isn't healthy for Nvidia to be dependent on just one supplier There also lies the threat of their customers turning into competitors. Google and Microsoft are already designing chips internally and it may be a matter of time until they become self-sufficient. And as it is rightly said, with great power comes great responsibility. Nvidia will have to take care of the harming effect that AI and their GPUs can have on society as a whole. So while the future certainly looks promising, and in favor of nvidia in every aspect it would be interesting to know how the events turn out given the risks that loom over their head hope you found this video informative don't forget to share it with a friend